Hey, what a wonderful morning. Hey, what a wonderful day. I've got a wonderful feeling. Everything's going my way. I'm gonna look at um, the canal boat today. The big blue bottom. Um, yeah, she comes with loads of extras, but I'm gonna actually go inside and have a proper look at her because I don't know how big the project is inside. The guy was like, yeah, she's beautiful inside and I'm gonna meet the yard team today. So all the guys I'll be pretty much spending 50% of my time with. I'm really excited. Seems like a really cool marina. And you've got some little baby ducks here as well. And, and there's some dogs there as well, so I'm sure Lido will be okay. Just, uh, I don't like to have her on the leash a lot, so we'll see how she adapts, but take enough time. Anyway, what would you wish? When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from me, I know that I am so much better, better. When I look at what I've done, now that we're apart, when I look at what I've won, I've come so far, I know I'm so much better. just want to tell you, uh, just bought a boat. <laughs> Let's go have a look. Let's get up. Oh, I'm going to kill myself before I get up. Okay. Here she is. Home sweet home. Here she is. This is my new baby. Oh, let's have a look, shall we? Wow. So. Oh my God. We have it. Home sweet home. So plans. Okay. Shower, head here. Um, and then you come out, this will be your walkway. Then you'll have the kitchen, the sink here, the fittings. You can look out the window. And then come down here, have a nice sitting area here. And then your bed. Yeah, I can have a cup of tea every morning, yes. And yeah, she's mine. I put the deposit down and I feel, I feel really, really good. This is gonna be my home. And it feels really amazing to do this. It's, it's like another huge undertaking, but I'm, I'm ready for it. She's come with all the insulation that I need to use. So the first plan is to clean everything. I'm gonna clean the exterior, the interior. And then I'm going to do the proper drawing up plans and yeah, it's, it's just like my brain's going to explode, but I'm so, so pleased. Um, just, it's by my first home, really. Alone. I know people say, well, Papa Gina was your first home. Mm, yeah, with someone. This is just for me and Leela, so. Oh, my face hurts from smiling. There's so much space, and I can't tell you how happy I am, and I can't wait to dig in. And the yard is amazing, there's so many really cool people in there all working on their projects. And I've got neighbours. There's a guy working here, there's a guy working there. It's just, I'll just show you the yard. But I'm. Everyone's working on their boats, and I miss this sort of. I miss the the community of boating. And now I'm here, and I'm gonna be doing it. And Leela's gonna love it. There's other dogs here; she can play.
<laughs> and we, I know this is the right decision. Oh, yeah. I'm going to celebrate now with my friends. I don't know what to say. Whole fresh start for us. Oh, my cheeks hurt. Oh. And yes, I quit smoking, which is why I'm vaping. I just want to say thank you to the patrons. You guys are awesome, and it's so it's been amazing to hear the, the reception that I've got about selling Papagino because it's time for her to have um, a new adventure with someone who's ready for that ocean life. But for me, Britain's my home, so yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep, yeah, we're gonna leave the doors open to dry her out. I'm going to be back tomorrow or the day after. She doesn't look like a typical cabin cruise, does she? She's got such a nice bottom. I like that. She's mine. Okay, I'm back again. I'm gonna start some cleaning. I um, met some really, really cool people last Friday here. Um, at the wharf, uh, the boatyard, and um, one of them got me a beer and kept it in the fridge for me for when I come back. So, brilliant! I'm gonna start off the day cleaning with a nice cold beer, and it's a beautiful day, so can't complain, can you? See, it has dried out now, which is great. Um, I'm gonna sweep everything up. And then get, I've got a mop, John, the owner said, let's mop it. And then um, I want to do a bit of the outside as well, just to get a proper view. Oh, I didn't get my measuring tape. <gasps> oh, dear. Maybe they can lend me one, but yeah. Let's crack on, shall we? That's what your business is cleaning. So, I don't know if you can notice, but I've swept up a lot of cobwebs and leaves and just trying to clean out the seating area and the cockpit. What I'm trying to do to make it feel more manageable is cut it down by small jobs. So one of the jobs I wanted to do today was to sweep up everything, um, cockpit and this bit, balcony, balcony. And I want to give the outside a bit of a scrub, scrub the windows. Small accomplishable tasks that's the trick so i don't feel too overwhelmed here we've got rot you're gonna have to replace these panels so i'm gonna get some marine ply some of them are okay i'm gonna see how it dries out maybe yeah maybe there's a bit as well but with this i'm gonna just be really smart on storage i've tried to brush out all of this i'm gonna get a new lid for this maybe like some lovely little teak number so this is where the old bathroom was so I'm going to try and be really smart with space I really want a nice high spec bathroom kitchen here this is going to be the seating area and I've got access here for a log burner it's already been put in which is pretty cool and then this is where my bed will go that feels really good it feels really good to take the step because I've got my friends and family around me so it feels like this is a lot more accomplished a ball, achievable. A lot of work to be done, but small chunks, and that's what I'm going to do. It's only half an hour away from where I live, so <sighs> not good. Okay, I started trying to just shift a bit of the mud. I know I've got to move all this stuff. Moss from the windows. I haven't brought the right cleaning supplies. To be fair, I 
I've got a mop and some scrapers and my goal was to use the jet wash to um, clean the exterior as well but I think you have to book that out however um, it's a very poor effort but I've got rid of the cobwebs I've swept up I've started scrubbing it looks a lot better I've got to get a proper scrubby brush um, I want to come back tomorrow and get some proper solution as well to cut through the grease but yeah it's coming along my goal is to come here every other day for a couple of hours because I still have a job it's really important to me to stay disciplined with my writing and editing so I'm gonna try and come here every other day for like two three hours and then go home and do uh, about um, well, the rest of the day writing. And you know, this is like fun time for me here, like to be on the boat. And when I go home, it's re I really enjoy editing and writing as well. So um, I'm just trying to stay disciplined with my work schedule. Um, my sister drew me up a rotor to how to be more productive. I want to shift through the mud. I gave a once over with the mop just because I was like, well, I've got. I've got to start somewhere, haven't I? So I've removed a lot of dirt. And then I came out into the cockpit to start scrubbing as well. You can see more of the colour. Um, <laughs> still needs a lot of cleaning, don't you, love? All that matters is that you do a little bit day by day. Yeah, I've started scrubbing the windows of algae. Or whatever muck. And that was, that was my effort to scrub on the mop, but we're going to uh, get the jet wash on it on Thursday. So you can see where they started repainting her. But I'm going to do an old fashioned narrow boat, even though like, she's a cabin cruiser, who cares? But pretty much, she's got a lot of character, you can tell. I uh, really thought I was going to achieve a lot more today, but um, I, I, di I just didn't know where to start. I cleaned a bit up uh, at the balcony, I cleaned a bit in the cockpit, I started scrubbing outside, I, I started cleaning the windows, and I started cleaning the floor. So I think I'm going to designate spots. So next time I come, I'm going to have the balcony and the cockpit scrubbed. That's going to be the goal. Um, yeah. Feeling good. And I still haven't figured out a name. Um, I've just been nicknaming her um, boo, uh, Big Ass Blue at the moment. Bab for short. We're at Bab, because my dad always says it. Um, so who knows, it might just stick, Big Ass Blue. Time to call it a day. Until next time. I feel the touch of your hand. Love you with all of my heart. Okay, Here okay.